Hi, this is Jason Bogue for Outlicious TV. Hi, this is Jason Bogue for Outlicious TV. Outlicious? Outlicious. We are delicious. What do you think about that? Wow, I'm impressed. Streep versus Winslet. Hathaway versus Blanchett. It is the heavyweight battle of 2008. I'm talking about the best actress race for this year's Oscars. I'm Jason Bogue, and this is your Oscar Minute. And we're here at the 2007 Outfest Film Festival. It's been a couple weeks of great films celebrating 25 years at Outfest. Tonight, it's all ending with the closing night premiere of Kiss the Bride. Let's go see who's on the red carpet. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Bogue, and welcome to Pop Life in the Pink. We are your headquarters for all your pop culture needs with a decidedly pink twist. That's right, the gays are in control of this show and we are gonna learn you a thing or two. On today's show, we will have all of your entertainment highlights of the day, including why going gay just might pay off with another Oscar for Sean Penn for his upcoming performance in the film, Milk. Then we will have a fall TV preview for you with all your favorite gay-centric shows, from Ugly Betty to Brothers and Sisters to the crazy gay marriage twist on the new adventures of old Christine. Are Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Wanda Sykes really walking down the aisle together? Oh, I would love to be a cater waiter at that wedding. And then finally, in our Against the Grain segment, we'll have queer-adjacent comedian and VH1 reality star Margaret Cho on the show. She is going to take me on a trip to the shooting range. Oh yeah, I'm going to get all Sarah Palin with a shotgun on you. So get ready to duck and cover, because it could get scary. But don't move one fabulous muscle just yet, because your life is about to get a whole lot more colorful, with more pop life in the pink right after this. And we're here outside West Hollywood Hotspot 11 for the logo premiere party of their new series, Rick and Steve, the happiest gay couple in all the world. Let's go inside and check out the party. This is the phenomenally talented Wilson Cruz. How are you doing, Wilson? I'm good. I feel like I'm being interrogated. It's just like being on Cops. Not that I would know anything about that. No? No. This is Mr. Daryl Stevens. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. What'd you think of the Rick and Steve show? I love Rick and Steve. That They are the... The funniest gay couple in all the world. Uh, it, it's the most hilarious, inappropriate, irreverent uh, cartoon uh, ever made. Uh, ever. Ever. It's so filthy. I love it. Hey guys, I'm Jason Bogue, and this is Pop OCD. The show made especially for all you pop culture obsessive compulsive freaks out there. Or as I like to call you, my friends. On today's show, it's all about the dance. Yep, dancing has taken over Hollywood again, from movies to TV to the internet. I mean, does Miley Cyrus do anything besides dance battles on YouTube? I don't think so. Speaking of dance battles, the So You Think You Can Dance finale was held this week. We'll have all the highlights for you and let you know what the finalists are up to next. And oh, oh, oh Mamma Mia, here I go again. That's right, Mamma Mia has become a global sensation. So what does that mean? Hollywood wants more movie musicals. We'll let you know which pop musical is coming at you next. And here's a hint. They got the beat. And later, a special treat for you, and for me. We'll have Emmy-nominated choreographer Shane Sparks right here on this stage. And he's going to teach me how to pop and lock. <clears throat> it's going to be So don't you move a jazz hand, because we'll be right back with more pop OCD after this. Tonight is the Outfest Legacy Project screening of Parting Glances. It's been fully restored. It's a classic of gay cinema. Let's check out our cover stories. Now, a lot is going on this week, and a new show premiered. It's called Lipstick Jungle. Don't worry, there's no real animals in it, but it's all about those cougar ladies. You know? Arr, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a lot like Cashmere Mafia, and it follows the complicated lives of successful women in New York. And next week, don't miss your Oscar Minute, because we're going to talk about the Oscar hopes for High School Musical 3. No, not Zac Efron. I'm talking about the best original song contenders. We'll see you then. And this has been Jason Bogue at the 25th anniversary Outfest Film Festival for the Outfest Legacy Project screening of Parting Glances. Thank you so much for joining us. So this is the closing night of Outfest. It's been a crazy couple weeks, 25 years of fantastic gay cinema. I gotta say, I've had a great time, and I'm so excited that Kiss the Bride is gonna come to a theater near you. This has been Jason Bogue for Outlicious TV. Thanks so much. Jason Bogue, thanks for watching Outlicious TV. The Anchorman, it's Jason Bogue.